This is a uh, Lego m motor. It came with the older Lego Robotics, the first version, but I think that most of the Lego motors are like this. They're just a plain, it's just a plain DC motor, nothing magic about it. I'm gonna take this battery and hook it up to here. And let's see what happens. That one goes right there. Put that right there. This goes right here. Awesome, right? Okay, now, what happens if instead of doing that, I take this? This is my voltmeter, where I have it turned on, and it's reading millivolts for some, you know, no real important reason. I'm gonna hook one probe right there, another probe right there, and I'm not even sure how these plugs work, but they're actually pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna take this, watch that, as I spin this. So if you apply 1.5 volt battery to this, it spins. If I spin it, I get a voltage. And yeah, I can go to the different way. That's pretty cool. And this, this is actually how an electric generator works. If you have a gasoline generator, it uses a combustion engine to turn this. This is really how most of our power, we get most of our power. Right, and that's what's so great about this. It's just a coil of wire that spins in a magnetic field, and that changing magnetic flux induces an electric field, which makes a current, boom. Okay, so now if you want a nuclear power plant, you just take a uh, nuclear reaction to make steam, and the steam turns a turbine, and that turns out. That's, that's it. So if that can act as a motor or a generator, then what would happen if I hook up two to each other? That's the fun part. So, oh, I actually happen to have two of these motors. I think you can get these. They're, I think normal motors work fine. So here's another motor, and I'm just going to connect this wire right there. I love these little connections too. Now I have that just connected by a wire. You can see just connected by a wire. And if I spin this one, I'll, yeah, I'll spin this one. I mean, that's just cool. Now, what if I spin this one? So, when I spin this one, it acts as a generator. It applies electric current to this volt, this boner over here, and that one spins. And so, I can spin either one. I'm really surprised at how well this works. If you just take a normal motor, it's not going to work because you need to spin the motor very fast. This Lego motor has a gear inside there. You can hear it. And so when I spin this, the motor actually is spinning pretty fast. It just, the gears slow it down. And I, I love these motors. I'm gonna get a bunch of these motors for, uh, you know, physics lab because they're great. They're great to play with and you could do a lot of experiments with them. And I will, trust me, I will do experiments with these. So there you go, Lego motors, find some, try it out. Pretty cool, the end.